Hello there, all the God may action. It's me, George Costanza, Lord of the Idiots. And I am here to introduce episode 23 of the Elder God Podcast, which will describe Big Man that's trapped in Portland, man. Now, even though I'm upset, that there's still I'm done with that on me. I have to admit that Portland, man, is a wonderful city that includes the surrounding around. In this episode, you will learn of the best things to do there and the worst places to avoid. So sit back and enjoy the show, yeah. Hello, hello, Elder God Maniacs. Welcome to episode 23 of the Elder God Podcast. We are back once again. I am your host, Big Bad Thad. With me as always, my co-host, awesome dude, wearing a Stuart Little t-shirt right now. Introduce yourself. I'm Big Sal. I hope everybody's well. And Stuart does too. With us today, we have a uh, Wombo Combo returning from the Burger King episode. Introduce yourself. It's me, Kev Kev, back and better than ever. Pleasure to be back on another episode. Thank you. And then, what's going on, everybody? It's Simmy, back for the third time. Been on the podcast. Yeah. Today's episode is another special. Today, we're talking about the Grand Old State of Maine. Now, I know what you're thinking. Two episodes in a row, no new Elder God. Don't worry. Some people there, specifically maybe uh, in the franchise department, again, a little, little itchy for the Elder Gods. So don't worry, you will get your Elder God fix next episode for sure. But this was originally going to be a side video project, but let's say it's making a podcast. Why not? I'm wearing a moose hat right now. Dope hat. Thank you, man. Thank you. Got respect, respect, respect. All day. <laughs> Basically, this past week, I went to Portland, Maine for my third year anniversary with a beautiful girlfriend, Misha Collins. Thank you, thank you, thank she you. She was just recently on. She was recently on. Woo! Thank you. Happy for you guys. <laughs> Happy thank anniversary. You. Thank you, thank you. I was going to make a video about all the places I went to because I want to make a tier list, but let's just do it on here. You know, let's just talk. I'm going to talk about every place I went to in Maine, but before we do that, I want to talk about where you can listen to this podcast. Spotify, Apple, Google, all three, plus YouTube. And then we have, we have social media, Instagram, Twitter, and a Facebook group if you're into that go join go like and you know rate the podcast like it subscribe come on guys come on no reason not to follow us we're everywhere Thanks. we literally have the elder god fleet upstairs in the driveway <laughs> and you can join that fleet but we'll tell you more about that later and um of course if you want to see visual stuff watch the youtube version you're getting the most left. bang for your buck there patreon bang. coming soon patreon coming soon that does main that's that gonna be the title mean. of this one. That doesn't mean, I guess. But before we do that, why don't you talk about our sponsor for today's oh, episode? Oh, our sponsor. Now I don't know if they know they're sponsoring or not, but Sam's Club is sponsoring <laughs> this podcast. Screw BJ's, screw Costco. Sam's Club is where it's the at. Bold the, act, act, the cousin of Walmart. They have Mountain Dew exclusives. Really? Ooh, yeah. I did not know. I don't know. I've never been in the Sam's Club. <laughs> we might go to Sam's Club after this. Right. <laughs> now, before we begin the, the big rundown, I've got like 30 places here. Wow. Big, big Sal is a nice drink for us. Yeah, let, let's have something to sip on while we do this, shall we? Now, right over here, let go grab them. Close your eyes, kids. All right. All right. Now you have a can. Well, that right. sounds heavy. Now, once again, be careful. There's no coasters today. No coasters today? So, JD came by again and stole my coasters. Oh, man. I don't, I don't know what he has against this podcast. I don't know what he has against anything. Hey, who steals coat? You know how inconvenient that is? All right. All right. Oh, Mystery Take a drink. Sip, everybody. I, I, I know what it is. But I still, yeah, we got to try and guess what it is. Or? Yeah. Could be colder. Ooh, delicious. Three Just sips. <laughs> what? This has been a drink 20 episodes in the making. I think I know what it is. Give a guess. Is it Moxie? Yeah. Simmy. Simmy. Yeah. Here we are. The official soda of Maine. It's true. I know. I came up with it in the shower this morning. Like, oh, I do my distinctively different, and of course, mm-hmm. I had two cases at home, ready to go. Let's actually, go. actually, my first time having Moxie. Actually, same, but I knew like that's wild. You knew that. I knew it was like a weird flavor, and it's mm-hmm. like kind of like a because my first my first instinct was root beer. Mm. Mm. But it's close to root beer. I thought that as well. It's I was idiot. like, no, it's the main episode. My favorite soda. I was gonna say AW, but I was like, I don't want to take the. It's like the. Uh, away. It's like the incest baby of uh, Dr Pepper and root beer. That's right. Mm. Yeah. That's, why, that's yeah. what I get from it. That's pretty good. All right. And I've been to Moxie Fest. Lisbon Falls, Maine. Canceled <laughs> this year. COVID, of course. <laughs> COVID related. Am I gonna get COVID from drinking this? Perhaps. That would be kind of sick. Not gonna lie. That's Maybe sick. from this table. <laughs> Let's start the rundown. So th- this trip started last Monday. Monday the twenty fifth. Maybe six. First stop was on the way. It was called Yummy's Candy Store. I'm gonna give. The, I'm gonna give this disclaimer right now. I've been there before. On the YouTube version, there will be plenty of pictures. Don't worry. But for you podcast folk, I kind of dropped the ball a little bit on pictures. So. <laughs> 
I wouldn't have done that. Imagination, guys. I was too too busy, you know, enjoying my vacation. Take a lot of pictures. Anyway, here's Yummies. Here's a store right there. It's up on the YouTube version, of course. Now, this is... Where is that? I don't know. (laughs) <laughs> oh, okay. I'll edit it, maybe. It's on the way to Maine. It's literally on the way to Portland. It's in Maine, though. It's in Maine. It's wherever okay. the uh, Maine trading post is. You ever yep. been there? The I big think I building? have. It, like, on, um, what's, where, it, what's the it? Outlet's route over one? there. Route 1 is, like, the one that goes all the way up through Maine. Yes. It goes, I think, doesn't it, like, do yeah, the outline like, of the state? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Shouts to Tony Franchise, he would know. <laughs> yeah, he, he drives up there every night. He was talking mm. about it the other day. But this store is grand. They have literally walls covered with all different sorts of candy, like fun candy. You told me you didn't find anything. That's why I made an emergency pitch stop today, and I got some. Well, went back to Yummy's, grabbed it, came back. It's a long drive. <laughs> this guy sends me a picture in the story goes, don't have anything good. Nothing good at all. This is not a blind snack because... Why? I want to show the packaging, because this is this is my main question here with the packaging. So with me right now, gummy cola bottles. This is clearly... I don't know if you've ever seen the Haribo gummy beer guys, the yeah. co- soda candy. That's it. Mm-hmm. This is it, but it doesn't say it on here. It just says hand-packed the Yummy's candy ma- main. Yeah, hand pack. Are we gonna eat them? Yeah, so, make it, so they just take it and put it in the, the thing. Just put it probably. in the bag and they probably recharge. Charge. Yeah, they probably yeah. recharge me. That's it. And they had this for literally everything. Like all sorts of types of candy in their bags. Yeah, in the bags like this. But they also They're have like, But they also have like the regular stuff too. But yeah, well, they, they probably make their own like taffy and fudge and things like that, right? Yeah, they have that. Yeah. So this is gummy candies. I love these. These are uh, me and Misha's go-to candy. We have sour patch kids, of course, but is it really? Yeah, pretty good. I like them. Hmm. All right. Like these specific Decola ones? Yeah. Oh, okay. Uh, pretty good. Nice I mean, soft. they are Haribo. I know. Yeah, these are definitely the Haribo. They're going to sponsor us. Yeah, we got you, Haribo. We, we, we sponsor We could face. do that commercial where all the, the adults are talking like babies. Yeah. Ooh. We could do that right here. <laughs> They had, like, mm-hmm. toy candy, too, with, like, like little knickknacks, like, clappers and crap, but mm-hmm. it was a cool place. I recommend it. They have a lot of candy there. Packed, bro. But, yeah, they, they Did you get anything else in there? Yeah, I got some chocolate-covered pretzels. I got a jawbreaker. I got some, uh... Is this place, like, a like a main staple? Like, everybody in Maine knows about it? Yes, yeah, so in the Facebook group, I asked what to do in Maine, and somebody said, Yummies is a must-stop. Oh, okay. So, okay. And they get the first mention on this podcast. Shout-out to that guy that put us on to Yummies. Place number two. Uh, no picture, guys. Is this Sorry. in any order? Yeah, they're doing an order. In order. Of, of the ranking then? No, no, oh, and we go in chronological order. Okay. Oh, okay. Yeah. yeah. It, it so works you out. said you're making the two list. Yeah, maybe after. Next up, we're a little hungry. We know we're going to take candy store. We got pizza right down the street called When Pigs Fly. This is Whoa. a like a brick house pizza tavern. It's traditional. Very good pizza. I got, I got a barbecue chicken pizza with peppers and onions on it. Hmm. Really? It was so. It's honestly, I would put that in the top three of pizzas I've ever had. Wow. Mm-hmm. It was a barbecue sauce. Dude, I'm not a big fan of, but I, I bet Oscars is in your top three. And you so. know, no, 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 no. The fans know this guy's had a lot of pizza spots, so I, that's that's high. I know pizza tealist day coming soon. I re- maybe. I feel you. I really recommend when pigs fly. It's a great place. When I hear that name, Damn. I don't associate that with pizza. I know. Was that's that right. what the is that their thing? Pizza. That is their thing. Interesting. Yeah, other stuff too. Mm. Had a nice bathroom too. Mm. Shout out to the bathroom. I went to the yeah. bathroom. There was a guy working there, like on the stuff. He looked at me. He's like, "Oh, give you some privacy." Walked mm. out. I took a dumpy, and then uh, he went back, went back in. So, mm. shout out to that guy. <laughs> Place number three. We went mini golfing at Raptor Falls. This is oh, that is the spot we went to. You went there? Yeah. 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 The same spot. You get some pictures here. Yeah. yeah Raptor Falls is a dinosaur-themed mini golf course. I guess some oh, wait. pictures. Maybe you didn't. No, you know you didn't. You did. You did. Well, I'll say we did. Yeah, I'll say you did. Anyway, great place. I my final score was ninety three. <laughs> I didn't nice. didn't do a good job. Kept nice. missing the holes, you know. Uh, Misha got like a fifty. He uh, smacked my booty. Mini golf is hard, man. Mini golf's hard. It is, and it's frustrating too. No, we were in with Dan. There was one hole where he just. He couldn't he get in back and heated. forth. And I could, <laughs> I could tell he was, he was getting a little heated. Was there a lot of like extravagant, like or like courses? No, or? not really. It was, it was, it was pretty crazy. crazy. I don't, I don't think I went to the same place. It was something falls. Yeah, but it wasn't, it wasn't too crazy. But there was some like creative stuff. Oh, with the okay. holes, like there was like tunnels and stuff, like hills. Yeah. Oh, okay. Of course, the big, big dinosaurs everywhere. That's like the best part. <laughs> but you haven't made it to Portland. Well, guess no. what? That's the next stop. Okay. We finally get to the hotel. But you met with someone. Did he meet you at the hotel? Oh, I don't know. Mention this, but yeah, I was supposed to meet up. with with a good friend of the podcast, little Andre, on the hotel. He was going to come with us. Mm. Well, not come with us, but we're going to, like, meet up one day. Because oh. he was going to, he heard we were going, he said, like, oh, I want to go check that place out. I've heard good things. Yeah, but apparently he went to the wrong Portland. He went to Portland, Oregon. What the hell? Instead of Maine. I don't know how he mixed those up, but he, he was calling me. He's like, Did I'm he at the right there? No, he took a plane. He was calling me from the airport. He's like, I'll pick me up. <laughs> and I'm like, no, bro. We're in Maine, not Portland. So oh, what did he do? What? I, I don't know. Bro. Hold on a second. <laughs> so, Hold on a second. Whoa. 
<laughs> he did not he do it. I accidentally <laughs> went to the wrong side yeah. of the country. <laughs> I, yeah. So you know, who was in the fall? You? Because you weren't being specific enough? I, I don't know. He, I, I, you know what? He, that's the dude sitting on a plate. He's from Massachusetts, too. So he was sitting in the, the plane for, what, like four hours? What the fuck? More than that. All right, well, next. You yeah. don't want to talk about Andre. Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> that's, no, that's, I'm still, that's like, in awe of my mind that. a little bit. <laughs> like... I mean, like, when I hear Portland, I think Oregon, but, like, I don't know, like, there was, a, there's no one but ever like, said Maine at all. But, like, if I told you, I'm going yeah, to Portland right. this weekend, I'm driving to Portland this weekend, you're not no, going to think, I, oh, okay, okay, he's okay, driving, yeah, you're right, he's you're driving, right, okay, 3,000 miles. Maybe he's flying. <laughs> well, no, if I say I'm driving there, you're not going to just assume that I'm going all the way. Did okay. you know you were driving though? Okay, right, okay. Right. Maybe so little Andre can come on next episode talk about his Andre. Oh, let's do it. I, I don't know let's who get him on right character on his is, but I'm sorry. He's like, I'm sorry he's like, you did that. He's like Kevin from Home Alone. He got a lot <laughs> <Yeah>. of <it. laughs> All right, so we didn't actually stay in Portland. We stayed in Scarborough, which is next to Portland. Cheaper hotel. Nice hotel. I liked it a lot. Nice room. It was a big room. And it was cheap too. Name of the hotel? Uh, it was the Marriott Residence Inn. Love That's Marriott. 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 Always. Great. Marriott's always a solid. Always top tier. Not the one with the free breakfast. Is that? They had. Else? They had it at. Well, someone, it's like a blue logo with like a. I don't know. They had, had a free breakfast. The breakfast was okay. The continental breakfast. They didn't really have a lot of options. What they have? They had waffles, omelets, uh, honey nut Cheerios, That's raisin bran, oranges, fruits. Oh, nice OJ. I like the OJ there. Um, I think I may have broken the waffle maker because I tried to use it. It wasn't working. Maybe it was empty. I don't know. I love a good continental you breakfast. Have to, you have hotel. to put the batter yeah. in it. Love yeah. it. Go yeah. downstairs. It's, it's usually like a OJ. Yeah, that's a right. Waffle, that's right. Banana. It was, it was, it was weird. Yeah, it wasn't working. Get started it was for your vacation. Yeah, yeah. but uh, I didn't break any toilets this time, so no heist this episode. Did you eat breakfast every day? Only only twice. We got some other stuff. Gotcha. Yeah. But yeah, it was a nice hotel. I recommend it. Very clean. Nice staff. Wasn't too noisy. And you stayed there the whole week, right? Yeah, whole week, yeah. man. Oh. Uh, yeah, I recommend it. All right, first stop, the main mall. It's a mall. That's all I can say. It's a <laughs> mall. It's a very basic mall. It has all your mall, mall stuff, your mall foods. The main mall. It's all, it doesn't have, like, a, a name. It's just, just the main mall. Mm. It's the it's, main one. The it's, main the main mall yeah, of Maine. Is it M-A-I-N or M-A-I-N-E? E. Oh, okay. Yeah. There's a lot of cool stuff around there, you know. But yeah, it's basically a basic mall, basic plaza, that Alta, you know, nothing, the usual uh, stuff. Nothing you hadn't seen before? Nothing I've seen. I think they had, like, this, like... Was there an FYE? Yes. Okay, okay. They had, like, this sports they thing. I, never, <laughs> I don't think they had a game. Old time. Navy. Yes. All right, my question then. Newberry Comics? Is it... Yes. Ooh, is it um right. is it on uh, Eastfield Mall tier, Holyoke Mall tier, or Natick Mall tier? <gasps> I would Ooh. say it's by it's around Holyoke. Maybe, around maybe, Holyoke. maybe a little above Holyoke. Like in between Natick and and Holyoke. This is a two floor or one floor? One, um, one floor. What's the food court yeah. like? Yeah, they're Chinese court. pizza. Uh, like like Charlie's. Oh, yeah. Charlie's. <laughs> okay. Charlie's <laughs> everywhere now. I think right. I'm getting what kind of mall this is now. All right. So next up, how to do it? Goodwill. Now this Goodwill, very big, very big Goodwill, very very large. Mm-hmm. But there's nothing I wanted. It was like nothing. nothing. I looked around, nothing. They had, they had a weird section with like expensive stuff with like eighty dollars, like eighty dollar guitars. They call something with like home something. What it looked like a pawn shop. Still like a steel yeah. for a guitar. I don't know the guitar. It's like a it first. Alex game. life's in use. All right, and here we go. My stop, Walmart, right across the street. <laughs> I would have been there. Three times a day. They close at 11, too. So, you know, you could get some late night ribs going there. Yeah. Uh, I bought some popcorn. I bought some milky. Because Misha wanted milk for the Oreos we brought, the snacks. Okay. That milk did not get drink. Whatever. And None of it? A little bit. <laughs> But yeah, it's a pretty good Walmart. It's an average Walmart, a little above average Walmart actually. Like, it's better than Chickabee, but anything is better than Chickabee. Chickabee is literally yeah. like the good. worst <laughs> one, in the country. like actually rated as like one of the worst ones in the country. We were the there Walmart? earlier today. Yeah, yeah most nine one one calls. It's, it's worse than on the, average. The two calls a day on average. Well, we have this I, I don't know. They finally got security there. No one's shooting to be honest. All right, so now dinner time. Now I'm still laid out right now. What day of the week is this? Monday still. I'm also on Monday. It's the last thing we did. I'm gonna say right now. I did not have a good dinner at all all night really? like, every night i was there is always something wow and there for seven days and you're probably gonna you're probably gonna give me shit for this but don't say applebee's the first night we went to the kfc taco bell combo <laughs> yeah <laughs> no, okay. i respect that now hear me out you sure. don't see those everywhere and it's kind of fun ordering from them yep I tried going inside. The lobby was closed. Whatever. So we get some tacos. We get some chicken. These tacos. I say no lettuce. I don't. I don't mess with the lettuce. Yeah. I, I lettuce. did lettuce now. Not, not lettuce. on tacos. I don't even really like them on tacos. But anyway, they give us lettuce on them, and they were very greasy. They were like dripping through the package. Like I don't know Nasty. what. I don't know what they were smoking in there. But <laughs> it, was, it was crazy. Don't go to that one. Smoking weed. Did you do the review bra combo? I did do the review okay, bra combo. Okay. I was telling Misha that I was like, we gotta do the review bra combo. I was like, what even that's is what, that? Popcorn yeah. chicken. And, uh, that's it. When you eat the soft taco with hot sauce, and then you eat a popcorn chicken right after it. 
you don't dip in anything and just eat it. And apparently the spice, it's not really anything, but yeah. it's fun to say, like, he, the reviewblack.com. Yeah, he <laughs> raves about it. So you, if, you're, if you're at one nearby, go try it. Yeah, try it out. So anyway, next day, Old Orchard Beach. Mm-hmm. It's the beach day, you know, that's the main thing we came here. Now, I'm going to give another disclaimer here. I'm not a fan of the beach. Yeah. I'm not a beachy. Don't come after me. I'm just not a huge fan of it. I don't really like not the for sand. Everybody. Not for I'm, everybody. I'm not a huge beach person either. That yeah. I, I don't, I, I'm not a fan. The sand, the salty water. I yeah. feel all gross afterwards. You got to go take a shower right when you get um, home. Um, all yeah, sweaty. If you like the beach, it's a, it's an average beach. I give it a five out of ten. Do you go in the water? Yeah, I'm in the water, obviously. Oh, oh I went yeah, to the beach. No, but it's cold. It was cold, but yeah. it was. Yeah. It was, it was, it was fun. real cold. I would have yeah, no there. interest going to a main beach. It was fun, no, oh, because like the waves. Yo, <laughs> know, the lake we were at though was very warm. Surprisingly warm water. Because well, yeah, it was all super shallow. You guys went to the lake. I don't know if I'm going to go to that like later or now. Or... I don't care. We, we want to do it right now. We can do it right now. Yeah, we'll do it after. Okay. Just to, like get the flow going, but yeah, yeah, yeah. You, the lake was pretty cool. You can just like, talk about it real quick. But, yeah, lake. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it was just it, the side we were on was really shallow, so the water was super warm. It was Bro, soft, like, squishy sand. Yeah. I prefer lakes to beaches, also. Oh, uh, oceans. No waves. Yeah, I've yeah. never you seen. You can just ocean. lay down, float in the water. Hey, this guy never seen the ocean. Yeah. You've never seen. I've never ocean. seen the ocean. You live like an hour away from it. But dude. I've never been that far <laughs> out. Really? All right, let's yeah. go for a ride. It right is when the is. podcast is over. You gonna take me a half a pond? You gonna say no, something? Take you to the ocean. You gonna say something? No, I was just gonna say I I, I really did like that lake. It was cool. What's the name of the lake? Sabago Lake. Or, or you wait that? I would the lake as a whole. Yeah. Honestly, I didn't get to see enough of it. It was a very large lake. Dan looked up some of the stats. Mm-hmm. It is the second largest lake in Maine, and it's the deepest lake in the state. Ooh, really? But we were not on the deep side. Obviously, it was like waist high for probably a mile out. But really, we weren't really far for how long it was able to like you can walk like you could walk that Big whole lake. thing. Yeah. I would get scared. Go fishing? Yeah, not really. We brought the we brought the rods, but we didn't even end up doing it. We we were yeah. on a raft and stuff. It was pretty cool. All right, let's talk about the beach shops. The shops around the beach. Okay. This is where they get most of the income. Mm-hmm. Yeah. First off, the bathrooms cost fifty cents to use. I snuck in because I was not gonna Call. pay fifty cents. I didn't even have my wallet on me, so I haven't. What do you mean fifty cents on the beach? Yeah, to use the bathroom, you have to pay fifty cents. It's trash. Really? Yeah, it's trash. Trash. Yeah, anyone's going back to take a dump on the sand. I've never heard of that. And then the shops or your average beach shit, but like literally every shop there had your cartoon character shirts smoking weed like they had your rick and morty <laughs> smoking oh, weed yeah. SpongeBob. Your, your spongebob your family guy literally every shop had that's it. like a beach, beach, beach store <laughs> staple like smoking on the beach yeah shout out to lois and the trash the <laughs> i hate it i give that a one out of ten horrible no pros of the beach day at all no pro oh but Singles? there was an ice cream place called big licks I was next to Big <laughs> Bites, which is a burger shop. Are they, like, like connected? I guess. You got a picture? I have a picture of me eating ice cream. It was on my story, the one with the blue the, ice the cream. The blue. Yes. Mm. Great ice cream place. That's the only place I recommend. Next up, oh, Main Vintage Toys. Salve has recommended me this place. I don't know if you've been there. Or never been. You, you somehow found it's it. It's been a while since I've been in Maine. Mm. This, this was a... I had to go a little bit out of the way. Not out of the way, but to get there. It was not near anything. Mm. It was just... Yeah, they had, like, cool toys and stuff. I did buy some stuff, so I will take those out in a second. But it was a good, good figure story. They had a lot of wrestling stuff, a lot of anime, a lot a lot of Pokemon cards. I spent a hundred dollars on Pokemon cards. Oh, damn. I got a shiny rainbow V Max Lapras. Oh, pretty cool. Ooh. Pretty cool. Spicy. That's all there. But Rare. let me uh, show you a couple things I got. First off, we got this nice Piccolo, which was uh, two dollars. Okay, nice, nice. Very, very a steal, I'd say. Steal. And then, um, perhaps future Elder God, we have uh, Tyrion Lannister from Game of Thrones. Okay. Uh, they, they were very cheap, so I was like, oh, well, why not? I'll right? get them. They're like little baggies. And I really recommend checking it out. I've heard good things about them online. Yeah, those are cool. In, uh, oh, yeah. like, toy group shit. Have you, like, meant to go there at some point? You just never have... Hey, they do autograph signings and stuff. That's how I see it pop up. Oh, okay, okay. Look them in that place. Next one, we went to Wainwright Circle. That's my last name, hey. Wainwright Circle. I found it. There's a sign with my last name. I took a picture. It was like, next up, Dollar Tree time. Dollar, mm. Me and Sal here, we go ape shit over DT. Love Dollar Tree. Love like it. Everything. I'm there good four store. times a week. Good store. Everything's Dollar At different like, Dollar Trees. And there's actually good stuff there sometimes. Mm-hmm. We got some, I don't know, we just dabbled there. We got some lights. We don't really need them, but. <laughs> lights? I bought ice cream sandwiches there, and I forgot to put them in the freezer, so they all melted. Oh. Yeah. But it was only a dollar. It was only a dollar. It was okay. Dinner time. Now, I know what you're thinking. Okay, you went somewhere you can go anywhere for. Where are you going this time? From local places? With mm-hmm. five guys. <laughs> five guys. Because I was kind of craving it because... This is getting worse. My work was like, they got five guys the other day, and 
so from when I ordered it, I was kind of craving it a little bit. Even though I prefer classic burger, and West Springfield shout out to classic burger. Yeah, mm -hmm. it's shout out to Elder God Burger coming soon. Elder God Burger coming soon. But Five Guys, it's okay, but it's expensive. It's like thirty five dollars for what I got, and yeah. Yeah, if, if you get like burgers, fries, and a shake, you're, you're no, dropping at least twenty bucks. Now that we're talking about Five Guys, I watched a review bra just the other day, and he did his favorite thing to order at Five Guys. Okay. It was a burger, fries, and a shake, maybe. Maybe it was a soda because it was a, it was like twelve bucks. No, mm. it was more than that. It might have been like sixteen bucks. Oh, and I thought, same worth it. Same worth it. I've had Five Guys in ages. It's pretty good though, but you're right on the pricing. Yeah, classic burger is basically like cheaper, better Five Guys. So if you live in Massachusetts, go check and they have good ice cream there. And very good. I've never been. Yeah, no, definitely check it out. Great place. It's honestly like maybe I'll get dinner there. They today. have different themed burgers. Yeah, yeah, like Burger of the Month. They have like they yeah. do a burger contest at the end of the year. They didn't do one last year because of COVID, but like you make your own burger and like the winners on the menu for a year. You oh, go we, each wow. week. Each week there's two different burgers, and whoever sells the most wins. We're gonna do oh, that. We're gonna do that next time they do it. We already have the idea. We're not gonna spoil it. Okay, Wednesday. I'm gonna go quick because we're a little behind. Big thing of the day. I love this place. It was about a little. Oh, I don't know what it was past Bath. It's called the Coastal Botanical Garden. Mm. This was a huge garden full of flowers and stuff, and it was woods for like trails surrounding it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. This place. It was my favorite place I went to. 10 out of 10. I love it. Walking around, just looking at flowers, sculptures. And they had a little collab going on with this artist from Norway or Norwegian? Denmark? I don't know. Mm -hmm. But he made these giant trolls. Big area. Giant trolls made of wood. Let me get some pictures going here. Oh, here's the rainbow lapis, by the way. Fire. Fire. What's the um, admission to the botanical gardens? Uh, it was like twenty, thirty dollars. I don't know. It was it was worth the price. Let me tell you. Okay. <clears throat> There's the trolls here. They're like oh, wow. big things. It, it was a hunt you had to do. We had to find each five trolls, and they had a clue card. It was waterfalls too, yeah. And nice. the, the clue that you get from all of them will get, bring you to a special place. I don't want to spoil it, but it was pretty cool. Like figuring it out and then going walking around and finding the clues. Damn, that's dope. Yeah, really good place. I'll get that in a second. Um, yeah, definitely Is go that a special place. No. <laughs> 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 where to go? I'm not spoiling it. You gotta go there. I'm not gonna. Well, I'm not gonna spoil it. Next up, we went to. This is it? Yep. Okay, we're hungry. Okay, uh -huh. we're looking to eat. Here we go again. The only thing I don't like about the botanical garden was the food was kind of like lackluster. It wasn't really much to get. It was, it was all. Like it was all like healthy food court. No, it was like gluten free, organic stuff, which I'm not, I don't mess with. It was okay, but it's not for me. Look at mm. me. <laughs> So we were driving around. We see this place called. Well, first I see this. I saw a Shrek poster, movie poster, on the side, on like some plaza. So I had to take a picture with it. You know? Vintage. Vintage. Yeah. And right next to it was a place called House of Pizza. Um, zero out of ten because we waited there on the counter for like five minutes and no one said anything to us. Oh. So we just walked out. But as soon as we walked out, they took the next customer. So what's going on? Hmm? Hmm? Don't like Massachusetts. Discrimination. Don't like Massachusetts people. Mm. Mass holes are gonna roll up. On but then for lunch, we went mm -hmm. to the classic Bath Burger King. Very nice Burger King. I got the bacon uh bacon king pretty good place mm. have you had the new chicken sandwich there yet oh the chicken king? Chick king, king, yeah. yeah that's decent I, I like it so popeyes yeah next up the cryptozoology museum in portland wow. if you don't know what cryptozoology is basically like the Loch Ness monster bigfoot like fake animals mm. oh, whoa, 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 whoa. don't say fake fake. Fake. no 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 science i said that whole in quotes this i said that in you quotes. Didn't, don't even you say that word you don't even say that word Anyway, undiscovered, has, undiscovered, undiscovered. It was basically like two hallways, but like that cases full of like those these animals, like the evidence, like cool stuff, like figures from them. They had like TVs playing like documentaries. They had like news articles, like maps of like places where they've been spotted. Yetis. Mm -hmm. Yeti. They had a Yeti section. They had really, like every section for each animal. Really mm -hmm. cool place. I highly recommend it. Only thing I didn't like, can take pictures. Can't take pictures. This yeah, place was watch specifically it. that. You yeah. took one. I could take this one. It's Bigfoot. Guess what he has? Moxie. Uh -huh. Yo. Cheers. Cheers, from, cheers, cheers to Moxie. Cheers, everybody. Cheers to Piers. Cheers. cheers to the working man. And that's going to go to our first gift. Okay. Why don't we get into another snack? I'm hungry. We'll get in there, man. We'll get in there. Hold on a second. I'm gonna oh. Slow down. I'm going to ask a question. This is trivia? Who likes cryptozoology more? You or you? <laughs> 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 okay. Uh, what about this? There's a pin here from the Cryptozoology Museum. One of you can have it. I have another gift later, though. And the other person will get that. So you have to, like, kind of gamble here. Like, do you want this gift or the mystery? Wait, wait, wait. Let me <laughs> the see, what it, let's see what, what it says. The mystery gift says. later. Do you want this or what's behind curtain number one? Yeah. Uh, Third annual Cryptozoology Conference. I also have a Cryptozoology pen. I, I think so I'm going to give the Salvis because wow. he's craving a pen right now. Thank you. Are going to take the pen? Unless you, do you want it? See, hey, I would, you I would were very sure with that decision. Let me get the pen. Get a picture of this happy recipient with his brand new gift. Actually, wait, wait. Wait, let me put it on. Let me put okay. it on. Is that a panda? <laughs> I believe it is a panda. And, and you said it was only two hallways of stuff? Yeah, so there was two hallways, and then there was a kind of like an upstairs hallway. It was like small. They had like Bigfoot uh, tracks and stuff. Really cool mm. place. I recommend it. It was fun time. And then right next to it, 
Misha found this place on the fly. Banger place. <clears throat> I'm banging mm. right now. Color me mine. So this is an art store. You go in, they have like these cl what blank clay things like piggy banks, sculptures kind of thing, like owls, uh, soap dishes, like ba everything basically. Mm -hmm. Pay $8, you also gotta pay for the object, of course. And you paint it, they give you all the paint, and then they glaze it and they give it to you. Wow. Mm -hmm. uh, I don't have it yet because we have to get shipped. Cost an arm and a leg? Wait, it gets shipped? You said it wasn't that much, yeah. Well, I can't pick it up, we're not in Maine. <laughs> but they ha you can pick it up for free, but you can also ship it. I don't know what's You hard. paint. You I'll, painted it. I'll, yeah, we painted it, then, yeah. they, then they heat it up yeah. overnight. Well, no, overnight, it takes like a week. Oh. Yeah. It's, it takes, so it's not like come back two yeah, it's days. It's like a professional place. Yeah, yeah. yeah, you can't, our pickup date was Monday, but we left oh, gotcha. Sunday, so we couldn't go. Oh. Uh, really fun, cool place. I recommend it. If we, if I get it for this podcast, I'll post it. But I did a frog dish holder mm. in that dig shop, soap holder, and Misha did an ice cream piggy bank. Ooh, nice. I mean, my my colors came from the frog. I did Crow Gunk from Pokemon. Mm -hmm. That's that was dope. pretty fun. Pretty nice, fun. Nice. Uh, yeah. So I'll, I have a kind of a picture of it. I'll show it after. But it's pretty cool. I'm the unfinished. And then as I was leaving. Uh, the lady came running out like a like a hero from a comic book. She came out. She's like, "Sir, you forgot your bag." Oh. Shout out to her. I almost forgot my bag there. Shout out to that lady. Contents Shout of out said to bag. bag, lady. Yeah. Right. Contents of said bag that like like. Uh, I didn't really. I remember. Um, nothing, nothing too important. Various stuff in there. Still a good song. Oh, I had my Crypto Zoology stuff in there. Oh, okay. So that was, was important. Tricky, tricky. So you wouldn't have gotten that pin if I forgot it. So shout out to her. Thank her right now. I'm going to thank her. What's her name? I don't know, dude. So <laughs> we're going to say next, Debbie. Next up, it's time for the yeah. next snack. We went to a place called Shaw's, which is like their big Y, basically. Mm -hmm. oh. Shaw's is a good spot. It's a big Y, but it's basically, it's a little more expensive. I'm angry because it's Portland, probably. But mm. it was a cool store. I have some pictures. I also have a snack from there, which I will get in one second. Last time I was in a Shaw's, I bought Moxie. Shaw's looks like a dead Moxie there. There was a dude on top of the the thing. It's <laughs> TV. Yeah, let me go get the snack. Okay. This is going to be a mystery snack. Close mystery your eyes. Game. Close your eyes. Okay. My hand's going to be sticky. Maybe later, if you know what I mean. <laughs> nice. So I'm gonna tell you right now, it's a chip. Oh, a chip. Okay. I'm gonna place a few on each one. So please. Pringles. Okay, they are Pringles. I don't know how you guess. Them. <laughs> really? <laughs> wait, wait, wait. I, I heard I know the flavor. Oh shit! I'm already gonna guess the flavor. Yeah, I told oh. you you knew it. Oh, okay, I'm oh, sorry. Wait. Okay, I sent a picture of this to Salvis. Yeah, like a week and a half ago. Okay, on your plate. Oh, Thank God that was empty. <laughs> 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 so bad. I take a bite. I really, I really enjoy these. Mmm. Good job, bud. Yeah, I think I know what that is. Any guesses? Is this the brand new Pringles Wendy Spicy Chicken Sandwich? Yes! Oh. Yo, how'd you guess that, man? Yo, yeah, because I've seen it trending all over, and I'm like, it's like everyone's saying, you gotta try it. So I was like, These wow. are fire. Very spicy. I love it. These mm. are better than the Baconator Pringles that came out last year. This yeah. is housekeeping. Cause we had the Baconator Pringles. Those are terrible. <laughs> mm. Got some more? Those they're good. good. I'm not a big Pringles guy, but these are dope. Yeah. Yeah, so my only my only grip with it was uh oh no no grip I love Shaw's it's way better than Big White else? really way better way, way better than Big White like what's the deal with Big White every time I'm there I'm like why Shaw's every time I'm like oh shit it's good <laughs> <laughs> I haven't seen these anywhere else hmm? can I go to Big White and buy this I've seen them at Big White but anyway it's time for trivia I have a gift related to this what is the total number of Wendy's in the state of Maine <laughs> if you can get it you get a prize. You get, you better get this guessing closest someone? without going over? Yeah, closest without going over. Let's go. Uh, I feel like it's going to be lower than you think. <laughs> yeah. I'm going to say like a smooth, like, say 23. 23. Tim. 23. Damn. I'm going low. You said low, I'm going low. I'm going to say like, I'm going to say 112. Shit. Okay. Uh, self is. 112 is outrageous, I think. Is it? Maine's big, but like. It's a big state. I'm thinking a lot of Maine is wasted. That should be also very true. Yeah. 23 seems like a good number. Okay. Mm -hmm. okay. I'm gonna go, but I don't wanna go over. Mm. Maybe we should just do closest. Let's just do closest. Just do closest. Okay, I'm, I'm thinking like 18. 18? I'm gonna go 18. All right, Salvis wins. The number <laughs> is 16. Wow. <laughs> and the is a code for a spicy chicken sandwich at Wendy's. You told me yeah. so good. <laughs> And it's something good. It's a spicy chicken sandwich from Wendy's. Those free spicy good. chicken Those sandwich. Come on now. He said that's no my Wendy's to. coupons today. That's what you said. Yeah, that's not a coupon. That's a free thing. Okay, thank you. You're welcome. True. 18? How, do we know how many are in Massachusetts? Yeah, it's up. I'm, I forgot the number, but it's high, way higher. Uh, you guys want to have some more if you like? I love uh, these. I these are really good. Is Massachusetts like in the triple digits? Yeah, like and cool. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, so that was way lower than I thought. Yeah, but that code came with the box. We go. Damn, good guess. That was a good guess. All right. And anyway, last place we went to, dinner time. I was recommended this by the lady who worked at Color Me Mine. Mm -hmm. Portland Pizza Company. I got a uh, calzone there. Uh, super greasy, super messy calzone. It's like dripping out. Don't go. Four mm -hmm. out of ten. What'd you get in it? Oh, uh, roni and beef. That's uh first three days of me. 
Got three more, but I think I'm gonna take a break from talking. You guys wanna talk about media? I'm gonna do a little media segment. Okay. Oh, you know what? Let me take a commercial break first. We'll be right back after these messages. Giant trolls, and they're not internet trolls. <laughs> these are trolls that have invaded a well known attraction in Booth Bay. They're also coming with a message, apparently, Megan, for all who see them. There are five of these huge mythical creatures on the grounds of the coastal Maine Botanical Gardens. They're part of a new exhibit called Guardians of the Seeds. The trolls are the work of an artist from Denmark. He spent the last two months making them out of recycled materials to help get the word out to save the forests. Yeah, we are back. Get me to yourselves. I'll go first. I got two things. I'm gonna start with a more basic one. Terminal with Tom Hanks. <laughs> you ever seen the movie? No, I haven't. He lives in an airport. <laughs> what? what? Yeah. This guy, this guy comes from some made up country, I think. He could have helped a little under. And by the time he gets, he, he departs his airport in whatever country, and by the time he lands in New York, there's been a coup, and his government's been overthrown, so he's not allowed into the United States, so he has to stay in one terminal until <laughs> what you just until, until the United States gotta be like a 90 recognizes 90. his country again. It's like 2003 or something. Okay. So there's that. Good when, movie. Kind of strange. When you said terminal, like I expected something tragic, like someone was <laughs> yeah, like yeah. Termini terminally ill or something. But he like, <laughs> he knows everybody He's trying to learn English. It's crazy. No. He gets a job there. There's no English. That's wild. No. Uh, another movie? The Karate Kid. I oh. never seen Karate oh, Kid. Oh, Jaden Smith one. I love it. No, 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 no. <laughs> Ralph Macchio. Oh, come, come on. on. What a good movie that is. I gotta watch the second and the third one. Movie. But this is where I would like to introduce Mr. Miyagi as an elder guy. We'll do it. Mm. We'll do it. In the future. He's dope. He's dope. Yeah. He is dope. Unreal. He's got the little cups, little marshmallows, yeah. the fire. Yep. Fix your broken arm right there. Classic movie. You guys got any media? Uh, I'll talk about one. A movie I watched on Sunday night while I was in Maine. Yeah. Mm. It's a surf Surf's up. Oh, you, watch, wait, wait, wait. you watch Surf's up on Sunday night. I watch Surf's up on Sunday night. Whoa! Whoa. Look at that. Whoa. Great minds think alike. What can Honestly. I say? Fantastic movie. Oh, Chicken no, is Chicken Joe an elder god? In the future. In the future. What about Chicken Joe's dad? <laughs> <laughs> well, we're almost at a hundred elder gods. We're gonna break it this week. So, a new generation of elder gods are coming. He'll be on there. Or Big Z. Big Z has a good arc. He's dope. The sequel to Surf's up has like wrestling people in it. I'm pretty sure. Oh, it's so. Like, I didn't uh, even know there was yeah. a sequel. There is like nah. straight to DVD. Yeah. Yeah, it's like, but it came out just like a few years ago. No, like, like, it doesn't make sense. I like how like it's like a documentary. Yeah, no, yeah, it's, it's really I barely funny. remember it. Like that sea urchin when they interview the sea urchin. <laughs> I, I still find that so funny. Good place. Yeah. yeah. You got anything? Uh, it was pretty funny because I watched Surf's Up that same night too. But like, so I guess my media is like, so why what was watching Surf's Up was because I was hanging out with some of my friends <laughs> and they they put on. So I actually had never seen it, but they put on Twilight and oh, like. You watched Twilight? I watched Twilight you're, last week. You're not. Uh, I'm not really. Yeah, he he sent me a picture. He sent me a picture. <laughs> me and Misha, Misha loves Twilight, and we watched it a few years ago. Oh, okay. And we basically watched one of them each night in the hotel room. Oh, so nice. we, we watched Twilight too. So because they were watching, um, they put on I think what is the 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 the. the the one where it's like two parts, Breaking Dawn is that what oh, it's yeah. called? Yeah. So they put like the, the second one and I watched that. And I was watching that and that was my first time ever seeing a Twilight movie. And I was oh, like, cringy. yeah, I was like, damn, people really like this shit. <laughs> <laughs> like, this shit was like the rage like a decade ago. Right? Yeah, I remember it? my sister was obsessed with it. Like, yeah. yeah. it's, it's so bad, but like it's kind of fun to watch because it's so bad. Yeah, literally yeah, like I was like just one of laughing those. at dumb yeah. shit. Yeah. I'm, I guess I'll give a sneak peek right here because you mm. mentioned Twilight. Coming up soon on the Elder God list, Elder God Instagram page, you know, the Elder God. Elder Gods. I'm gonna be doing a week, probably in late August, early September, a week of anti Elder Gods, the Ooh. opposite of Elder Gods, Ooh. the people I hate. Okay. I'm gonna do five in a row, and I'm gonna tease it. One of them some Twilight. I already made the list of the five I'm gonna do. One is from Twilight. I'm not gonna say who it is yet, but okay. I have I'm excited. A, I have a lot to say, and because you watch Breaking <laughs> Dawn, too, he does the shit in Breaking Dawn too, which I hate. Okay. Oh, so I said he. <laughs> all that. That's a oh, clue. That's another down. clue. That's a clue. Down. But yeah, we'll get into that when we get to that. Media. It's all good. Back to Maine. Sure. Okay. Back to Maine. We're gonna we'll get to the gifts soon. I have way more gifts to give. There's another snack. There's two more snacks coming. Two? Yeah, man. Damn, patting us up. Next up, Odyssey Whale Watch. I went whale watching. It's like a nice. little boat. A lot of people on there. I see a whale. I saw three minky whales, which are like <laughs> dolphins, kind of. Yeah, they're you only like see them, you, really you only, little. Whales. Yeah, you only see them for like a second. They go. 
Mm. It was okay. You don't really see whales, but I like the boat ride. How did yeah. they guarantee you, you see a whale? You, you don't. But they kind of full disclosure, like, oh, you might not see a whale today. I guess, but yeah. like the cool really? thing is, is that like on the ticket and disclaimer? No, but <laughs> it, was, it, had, it had an open bar there too. It's pretty crazy. On but, the boat? Yeah. Nice. And they had like a thing like, oh, we saw a whale, so half far on um, Bloody Marys. Nice. How many Bloody Marys did you have? I know. Uh, mm, Bloody Marys are nasty. Oh, for sure. Okay. He like knows how long they go into water and like what their like cycle is going up and above. He could tell. He like almost had like the exact time when it's coming back up. Wow. Where they would show up. It was kind of cool. Uh, I, like, I like the boat ride. I went, I went on a whale watch a while ago, a couple years ago, out of Boston, and they bring the boat all the way out to Provincetown. Yeah. And dude, out there is Whale City. We saw yeah. uh, saw blue whales, humpbacks. Oh, and we gotta go there. Jumping blue. up out of the water and Let's shit. Let's go right now. Let's go. Mm-hmm. We, we tried when we went to um, me and Misha went there during um, the shine weekend we were walking around and oh, yeah. we, we tried to do the whale watch but it's like sold out sure. it's okay man but yeah about that. whale watching not guaranteed but it's kind of fun to go on the boat yeah. a 5 out of 10 never been how long are you out in the boat for oh it was like 3 hours long that's another thing I wish it was a little shorter oh yeah the, <laughs> the was... one out of Boston's like it's like an all day thing because you're, oh, wow. yeah, you're driving the boat all the way to Provincetown so it's yeah. like an hour there an hour back Yeah. and then you're you know putzing Ooh. around looking for whales for a couple hours <laughs> I was hungry as F afterwards I saw a really good burger place and this is a 10 out of 10 burger place evolution burger evolution yeah. burger it was a fan evolution fantastic burger it's not elevation <laughs> wait, wait, here's some whale pictures or no, evolution not whale pictures but like on the on the whales nice mm. uh, pokemon go <laughs> walking out walking. oh cool thing about the whale watch they picked we found a milk carton out in the ocean and we uh picked Dis- it up with the net disgusting i know crazy anyway evolution burger good on them for picking it up i didn't take a picture of the burger but save like a hundred fish really good Probably. place there was an outside like elevation. Deck. Elevation. What did I say? I said e- it. E- evolution. I said I didn't say evolution. But they had like an upstairs deck. So, so it's like, not elevation? Elevation. Like a mountain. It is elevation. Yes. <laughs> That's what the yeah, sign yeah. says. How do you say <laughs> This guy's keep saying el- evolution. Evolution? I don't know. Whatever. <laughs> listen, 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 listen. It's a great burger place, okay? I got a bacon cheeseburger. Mm. No, no. Barbecue bacon cheeseburger. Yum. With fries. Oh my god. It was delicious. A little pricey, but it was worth it. For that, it got to eat outside. Great view. Mm. They bring it up to you. Nice. Mm. I was worried they wouldn't be able to find me. I'm like, Misha, you should have gone upstairs. They found us. How was nice, the nice. how were the fries? Delicious. Well salted. Were they were they straight, curly? Straight. Oh. Uh, were they fresh? Zig- fresh they, they cut them there? Yeah. It was fresh burger. And fresh fries. And then the ketchup, house recipe ketchup. Wow. I'm, nice. a, I'm a fan of house recipe. You don't see that very often. Don't see that. that don't is not often. Don't. Not often. A lot of people just go with Heinz. Mm-hmm. I recommend it. Um, and now the shops around there on like the river, not the river, this the is ocean. Portland. Portland. We're in Portland that day. Yep. The shops over there, really nice shops. A lot of like cool stuff. Not really. I don't think I buy anything. Oh, sure. shirt. Nice shirt. Portland shirt. Nice shirt. Thank you. Is it me? Real quick, I'm sorry. What's but up? That shirt. So. It's literally like the Elder God <laughs> podcast colors. Oh, oh my God, it is. Yeah. Yo, I didn't even realize that. It's literally the exact that. Like, colors and everything. Yo, Elder God's favorite thing. I, I thought you like did that on purpose. I didn't. I'm not that, that smart. What kind of fish is that? What about <laughs> So we have Chinese. It was called Evergreen Chinese. Um, I, honestly, I said everything was bad, but this was okay. Probably the best dinner I well, had. Well, you just week. raved about the burger. Well, it was fun. Oh. Talking about dinner, I didn't have a good time. Mm. Yeah, no, Evergreen Burger. I mean, <laughs> Evergreen Chinese was okay. Ch- like, sesame chicken was a little weird. It was like, it wasn't really ch- sesame chicken. It was just the regular chicken fingers with sesame sauce on it. Oh, boo. boo. Yeah, I hate yeah. when places do that. Oh. I also, it out. they didn't give me fortune cookies, so. Lame. How was the rice? This is decent. Anyway, next morning, I went to the Holy Donut, to the donut shop. That was on the list, wasn't it? The donuts are made of potatoes. Huh? I got a blueberry cake donut. It was really good. I recommend Holy Donut. Never Eight out of that. ten. Potato donuts. It's a potato donut. That's new. Never heard of that. And then next up, the Portland oh. Art Museum. Hmm. Oh, baby. It was free Friday. Free Friday? And it was worth the price. <laughs> I loved the art. It was really nice. Here's some, uh, there's a lot of statues with boobies. Nice. There's a weird kid there. Nice. Um, very good paintings. Pictures allowed. Pictures Allowed. I took a lot of pictures. There's security. That's a pearl. It didn't stop me. <laughs> it's a good art place. You couldn't go outside to see like the sculptures outside, really. But other than that, decent. It's a free. So we can't really complain. Ten out of ten. I need to go to museums more. Museums are where it's at, bro. Now nah, they're dope. Those museums are fun. Next up, I'm almost done with the list, guys. I don't know if I'm dragging or not. No, no, no you're not. You're not. Okay. I'm very engaged. Okay. Yeah. Coast Comics in the Mo- okay. Fun Box Monster Toy Box. Well, Monster Emporium. This guy recommended it. I guess he was in the doc. He sent me. What's all this stuff you're writing down? I just doodled. Put <laughs> down like an essay over here. <laughs> you better open. I wrote that. Shrek six times. You better hope that audio doesn't come up in the pocket. I'll take a picture of it. But I bought some stuff there. No giveaway stuff. I just want to show my merch. 
Okay. Nice. Nice. Uh, it's upstairs right now, but I bought Invincible Volume One. So nice. Like a comedian. The compendium. Yeah. Yeah. I was looking for that. I looked at like two different new comics. I couldn't find, I couldn't find it. it. I found it there though. So I was like, oh shit. Sure. Yeah. They also had like the individual ones too. Oh, that's yeah. cool. How much? But for sixty dollars for the comedium. I said yeah. the other two. I, I was like looking through a little bit. It's very different than the show. Oh yeah, everything happens in a different order. I got the yeah. digital version and I read through it. I read through the first one and like halfway through the second one. Yeah, I think I'm gonna get all three before I read it. But like show. the episode with like the time traveling, not time travel, but like the guys who are like times faster. Yeah, the Martians. That's only like a little bit. Yeah, like, that whole episode. Yeah. Um, mm. But anyway, yeah. Um, really excited about that. I also picked up this. Trailer Park Boys. <laughs> oh, oh yeah. So a flipping <laughs> comic book. I didn't um, know that existed. I'm going to be honest with you. This, is, this isn't really a good comic book. But <laughs> it's, uh, you know, Trailer Park Boys. So. We need Bubbles as an Elder God. Another it's coming, one. bro. It's coming. I told you, new generation soon. Volume 2. They're doing a live oh, show. Freaking. Christmas live show. Cool. I also picked up this uh, yeah, Tien Shinhan. Yeah. Tien Shinhan Dragon Ball Z figure. Fire. I love Tien. It's my go-to. They also had, like, Cartoon Network comics I didn't know existed. Oh, wow. And they had... Jimmy Neutron figurines. They had one of like the cool kid <laughs> and one of Goddard. Interesting. Mm. Salvis, you like Tian Shen Han? Um I can give or take, you know. What, what's your favorite like move from him? His signature move? Uh his uppercut. Oh his uppercut. Yeah. Okay. I like the uh the, the volleyball technique. I like the Dodon Bean. Dodon Ray! <laughs> The beam. I was thinking about like um, Crane Hermit the other day, <laughs> yesterday. Yeah. I was like, what did that guy do? <laughs> like, he's gone now. Yeah. Yeah. But, uh, anyway, yeah, cool play. They had arcades in there. They had a bunch of pop figures. I helped a young kid get a pop figure on the top shelf. I don't remember what pop it was. I'm sorry. Good man, though. Good man. Good, good act. I recommend that place. That was a dope ass place. It was nice. not an Elder God. You would have remembered, right? Yeah, it was an Elder God. I would have remembered. Um, we're about to get into some Elder God stuff, though, because we're going to talk about the shops in Portland now. I'm going to group them all together. Okay. A lot of vintage shops. Mm -hmm. Nice. Too many to like yeah, call Portland's out. It's a very like kind of artsy town. There's yeah. a lot of like cool little places like that. I'm not going to be able to like movies. really like, I don't mm -hmm. remember any names, I'm sorry, but like just go to the shop in Portland. I have a bag full of stuff from Portland shops. Nice. Uh, yeah. Now I'm going to show off and some are for you guys. Ooh. Okay. There better be some Stuart Little merch. We'll do this first. Stuart Little merch. Me, me knowing I'm talking back here, I'm going to get a message this week saying I couldn't hear you sometimes. Yeah. I have a gift for you, Salvis. Oh. As you make fun of me, I'm giving you a gift for <laughs> I'm now. sorry, I'm sorry. So I called you, you didn't answer, because I wanted your preference on something. So I'm just gonna give you the gift. Hope you like it. It is a backstage pass to Tom Petty. Oh, look 2008 at that. concert. Wow. Thank you. You like, news. So like, I, you like Tom Petty, right? I do. Okay, I wasn't sure. So good. good so now Tom Petty's my it. favorite. Okay, I picked good then. Yeah. Who's the other option? So they had a stack of backstage passes from like, they had like Panic at the Disco, Guns N' Roses. I got Guns N' Roses one for my mom. Nice. It was nice. on like 88. They had a Rush one. Yeah, there was a Rush one and a Bon Jovi one. And there was something else. I was going to ask you what artist you like the best. Mm. I thought it was Tom Petty. I'm glad I got the Tom Petty one. Who was going to be option number two? I was going to probably go with Bon Jovi. Oh, no, no, no. No, no, no. Hey, All right. yeah, thank man. you. You're a good man good. for one man. One man. <laughs> and ten dollars each. It was They're a good store. Cool. Next up, that's, that's a cooler piece of like memorabilia. Yeah, knickknack. Yeah. Uh, was oh. this at like a um record store? No, it was like a clothes store. Oh. I think it had like a thing up front. Cool. Um, next up, it was a album take a look with some there. video games. Oh, let me take a picture. I have to do. I picked up this uh, Shrek Crash Racing for the Nintendo DS. Wow. With the instruction book. Very nice. What's the year? And on also, this one, like, we're Nickelodeon. This game, this year? Oh. 2006. But it's like outside stuff. Give it a bath. Another Shrek game there. Oh, jeez. Um, this right here is Elder God Fake. It's a CD case with Shrek Treasure Hunt for the PlayStation 1. Wow. I had to pick it up, you know. It's a little cool game. Mm -hmm. Unfortunately, there was a little price ticker here. I pulled it off and the sticker came off a little bit. But oh, it's that what's on the other one, too? It's not a big deal. Yeah. But guess what? There's a disc on the back. A disc on the back. I went to go buy it, and he's like, oh, do you want this on the back? Because there's, there's two sleeves. Really? What do you think's on the other side? I'll give you a hint. <laughs> it does relate to an Elder God, but not Shrek or Donkey or Farquaad or... Humpy Dumpy. It's Spongebob related. Oh, Human Shrek. You say like Spongebob? Mr. Krabs? Not Spongebob. Um, it is PlayStation 1, so you are guessing correctly. I think I'm having a heart attack in this month. I don't know, man. PlayStation 1? Yeah. Uh, I'll just give it away. I don't know. It's uh, Bob the Builder. <laughs> Can we <laughs> fix it? <laughs> Yeah, so you get I saw this. I flipped shit. I was like, Misha, can you believe it? Bob the fucking builder. Elder God Fate. Wait, is Elder that God a Fate. is that a PC like DVD ROM? Oh, this for the PlayStation. Oh, it's no, for the no, PlayStation. No. Oh. I didn't know they had a game. Oh, that's, no, that's the thing. You know I know the one I'm thinking of. I used to have a. It was like Tonka Trucks. DVD ROM mm. where you'd like dig with an excavator or whatever. Like, I didn't even know Bob the Builder video game existed. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Pick that up. Nice. I'll buy that for a dollar. Nice. Yeah, it's only $2 each. So. He, he charged you for the bonus game? Yeah. What a dick. <laughs> <laughs> I 
I guess it's time for a next snack. Let me check here. Yeah, I didn't write it down. We'll do the snack next before we get into the other gifts. Okay. I went to a place called Remy's, which is kind of like an Ocean State job. Did you say Remy's? Ratatouille. Yeah. Oh, yeah. We don't talk, we don't talk is about it a restaurant. Remy's here. <laughs> okay, okay. No. Sorry, sorry. sorry. Well, don't get eyes. me heated. I, no, don't close your eyes. Don't close your eyes because. Can I keep mine closed though? <laughs> no, because you have to unwrap it. It's a candy bar. Oh. Nice. Oh, so sweet. Oh, yeah. yeah. Remy's. Did you get a, pic- get a picture? Oh, Remy's. Remy's. Oh, Remy's. Oh, 69 okay. cents. I didn't remember. Too. I didn't remember. Oh, yeah, it was 69 cents. That's why I bought four of them. <laughs> <laughs> Made in Canada. With sea salt. All right, let's do it, guys. Yeah, this store is cool. It's, like, it's kind of like an Ocean State kind of thing. Were there more than one? No, only one. It wasn't down in Portland. This is a sea salt. Interesting. I don't have any chocolate. Let's see if this is better than the Age Old Hershey. <laughs> Classic. Yeah, Hershey mean have one for the money here. Oh, but really? Let's see. I like uh, area like dark chocolate when it actually has like the salt rocks in it. Yeah. Mm. That's very good. It tastes like a Hershey bar. If we were dipping it in the ocean, you know, with that sea mm. salt, mm. Mm. which I've done before. Yeah, how was that? Well, you never been to the ocean. <laughs> <laughs> wait a second. Oh yeah. Oh, it was a wait, dream. Wait, oh, it was a dream. Oh, it was a dream. Okay. Mm, <laughs> sure. It was so real. I had a dream last night that Selvis <laughs> was raving to me about the new Little Nas X album. <laughs> Montero. Yeah, no, I was like, it was a very vivid dream. He was like, he's like, I was like, I thought you didn't like Little Nas X. He's like, no, man, this album's so good. He had come on, call me by your name. Oh, industry, industry baby, industry baby. <laughs> and, I, and I was talking. I'm like, oh, you like it? You got to listen to his EP with Panini. Mm. And, oh, that didn't happen. I was sad when I woke up. I don't know anything about that guy. Maybe that was a vision. So the elder guy is. I, I know that. Do you be, he's the only elder guy to acknowledge that he's an elder guy. Just want to point that out. I mean, wait, he acknowledged he was. An he liked the post on Let, Instagram. Let's yeah. hold up. Oh, I, I remember, remember that. Before, yeah, before we say he's the only one, the closest thing before that was Billy Mays. Billy Mays. Yeah, which you were there. I remember that. That was hype. Well, happened with Billy Mays? His, His son, son liked, liked the, the podcast. The of the podcast. <laughs> oh, yo. <laughs> well, we got some superstars yeah. that are have been engaged with this podcast. We got to get them in as guests. Right. So, uh, <laughs> I don't actually don't have any more gifts for Fizzy Shop, but we'll do some more gifts later. We uh, could honestly slide into Billy Mays, the third's DMs. How often does he get requested for interviews? Yeah, he's not yeah. that famous. Right. <laughs> we can get him on. Okay, okay. I'll, I'll Let's see. try it. Yeah. Anyway, next up, I went to Taco Escobar's, Escobar's for lunch. Oh, that sounds good. Taco Escobar's. my beautiful girlfriend, Misha. Some nice Christmas lights on the top. Nice. Uh, or they Cinco de Mayo lights. Cool. I got a nice mm. taco there. I think I got oh. the... Uh, also in the bathroom, I put my sticker on the... Nice. Nice. Exposure. Uh, it was a very good taco place. It was bussing. It was really busy. Beef. But, yeah. but we got him. I got a steak taco with the fixings. The beans. No mm. lettuce. No And it, it comes with lettuce. So I didn't have to ask. About sour cream. I, I like sour cream. Oh, Love yeah. sour cream. They put enough Delicious. on there. It wasn't too much. But yeah, it was a good taco place. I recommended it at a bar too. Get rid of that. Yeah, Mexican Coke. Get some Mexican Coke. Quick pit stop. I passed by the B&M Baked Beans Factory. Which was also on the list. Mm-hmm. Also on the list. Mm-hmm. So I give a push out to that. Did you take a tour? No tour. So dinner time at night. Okay. <sighs> This is probably the worst place I went to. Oh, boy. Okay, I was going to say, go. I got that vibe. <laughs> Must have been a golden corral. Uh, <laughs> cow, cowbell barbecue. Ugh. I got a, I got the, it's like a Japanese beef. The Wagyu, maybe? Wagyu? Wagyu, mm. yeah. Wagyu burger. And this may be dampened on it, but I think I was a little sick from the taco. I wasn't feeling that well. I may have been a little bit to it, but mm. let me tell you something. I ordered tater tots with my burger. I mm. picked it up, and I guess you can you can point out that I should have looked at it before I left. But should I really have to? If it's an online order, then they can don't look. think so. Don't think so. Nah, they gave me so also the tater tots were an extra dollar, by the way. They gave me sweet potato fries, Ooh, and you, can, you, 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 you can like sweet potatoes. I don't like sweet potatoes. I agree. I agree. Sweet potatoes are nasty. Especially they should overrated. Not, they should not they're be nasty. in fry form. <laughs> they should not. Agree. I love sweet potatoes. I was gonna say I'm this sorry. is a step back. Step back. It's okay. It's okay. I, I, okay. I won't. I won't give my opinions. I'm outnumbered. <laughs> but uh, they yeah. gave me that, and I gave a one star review on Google. I was so angry that night. Had I just wanted tater tots, man. I just wanted tater tots. Sweet potatoes are a smack in the face. And, and guess what? Another thing. The burger was okay. I think I was a little sick, so I didn't finish it. Another thing is I needed. For you, though. Unlike the yeah, when you're ordering, for you, when you're friend. ordering, there's no option yeah. for ketchup or like anything. What? And I, I need ketchup, man. I'm a ketchup guy. I went to Cumberland Farms, bought some ketchup. Oh, Cumberland Farms, great place, by the way. Nice. They didn't give you ketchup packets, so that they should be standard. No, then they did though. And okay. I picked it up, so I bought the ketchup for nothing. It's upstairs. Hmm. We'll All use right. it eventually. Next stop. Next day, the Maine Mariners Museum in Bath, Maine. Word. This was an old shipyard. They turned into a museum. I learned about ships. It's a nice museum. They like treasure stuff, shipwreck stuff, displays. Oh, wow. It was a cool place. There's a lot of geese there. There's some pictures. Pictures. There's a big lobster trap. The whole lobster trap like section. Like, Did you go in it? 
You couldn't go. <laughs> Did you get to wreck a ship? No, I wish I could. Did you eat any seafood on this trip? No. Nope. You you're not a what? seafood guy, though, right? So listen, <laughs> this place was right next to the current shipyard, whatever it's called, but they make ships for like, the Marines and military. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It was really cool. It's right next to it. Shout out to the they, Marines. Yeah, uh, God bless. And they had, Did you see the new ships they're making? I kind of got like a little glimpse of them. A little glimpse, yeah. And they, they had like crazy. a and they had a little section where you could sit. It was like a it was for that museum or for that factory, and they had a little like video presentation for what they do over there. It was like a cool place. I really recommend the Maine Mariners Museum. I learned a lot about boats. Shout out nice. to the Maine Mariners. Yeah. The hockey yeah. team up there. Almost time for a next snack. This place I went to for lunch was. I was recommended Amados or Amados. I don't know. What I, I, it was on your list. I, it was they on your claim list. to be the first Italian sandwich. Yeah, be like Italian grinder. Mm -hmm. Let me tell you something. The first? I guess. It's not a grinder up there, though. It was. Oh, it's a sub? I yeah, know. Is that what they call it? Yeah, subs. It was a really good place. I think sub is like the universal term. I got a steak and cheese. We should got a meat, meatball hoagie. Classic. It's not a hoagie. It's not a hoagie there. Well, listen, bro. You brought me a sandwich? No. <laughs> I bought some stuff. <laughs> but it was so stinky by it now. It was so <laughs> surreal going in there. It was like. You order, it was like a pizza place or like a local pizza place kind of thing, but it was like a chain. You like, there's like ships, there's like soda racks, like coolers, and like you order it and they give it to you like 10 minutes later. Really cool place. Um, I found some chips there I want to show you guys. Okay. More chips. Let's do uh, it. Do you want to do a blind or no blind? Let's do a blind. Blind. Okay, blind. Close your eyes. It's the common trend I'm hearing from this trip is the lunch spots are fire and the dinner spots are pretty whack. That's true, man. That's true. Right? Eat a little lobster. Something I'm seeing, like, a little trend here. I'm really excited to try these. I'm gonna throw some on each one's plate. Okay. Is this like a a, a chip brand we've never heard of? Yes. Okay. You've never heard of these chips. Are we gonna okay. recognize Lays. the flavor? This is a big chip. I don't I haven't even heard of this flavor before. It's a new flavor, a new brand. I never heard of it. I had to buy it. And like I was like debating buying it too. Ooh. It almost That's different. Are these like yeah. an all-dressed chip? Yes. <laughs> it's like a it kinda tastes like oh. a diet. Salt and vinegar. This These is, are Tony Franchise's favorite chips. This is Humpty Dumpty all dressed flavored potato chips. Huh. It's like ketchup, barbecue, dressing, pepper. All dressed uh, are a uh, Canadian thing. Oh, really? Yeah, because I used to buy them for Tony when I went to Canada. But now I think Lay's or Ruffles sells them like a big Y all dressed. They're too much for me. I don't like I like a standard like, chip. You can like pick out different flavors. Like, I, you I get can, the sweet? Yeah, you can taste like the salt and vinegar. And, like, yeah. I was like, what am I tasting in this? <laughs> it's, pretty, it's actually not bad. You, you, got, you got the vinegar? Mm -hmm. That's a steal. Two dollars, not bad. You get the barbecue in there. Mm -hmm. Usually it comes a little later. Mm -hmm. I, I feel do. like the vinegar is what cuts through for me. Mm. Mm. That's the best part. I do taste a lot of that. I love a good salt and vinegar chip. I don't like the chip. Okay. And you got this at the sandwich shop? Yes. Almost no, done, boys. Next place you went to, almost done. Mm -hmm. uh, Lynn Libby's, the moose hat. They had a life size moose made of chocolate called Lynn Libby. Made of chocolate? Wow. Made of chocolate. Milk. Made, it was milk. <laughs> like, That's here's, it. Here's a motto. Here's Len. The, the he's made of chocolate, chocolate mousse. That's dope. And they had really cool stuff there. This is something else. They had really cool stuff. They had like souvenirs. They had chocolate there. They had ice cream there. Mm. It's it, refrigerated. How does it not melt? It's like a, a fan on it. Kevin's gift. You passed up on the the pin. Okay. This is what you get. Okay. A Lenny plush. A little hey. little, little Lenny plush. Oh, this is nice. You steal uh, that? No, I bought it. I didn't steal anything. I mean, surprisingly, let me get a picture of that. Anyway, that's a cool place. And now, the grand finale. The last place I went to. Actually, no, it's not. Second last place. This is a, this is Tom's on crack. Whoa. It's called Bull Moose. Bull Moose? One section full of DVDs. One section full of records. One section full of video games. They had everything here. Mm. It was a fantastic place. Let me show you some pictures, guys. This place is stacked with oh, wow. Wow. media. That's something some else. <laughs> Who is that pizza from? I'll, I'll get to it. Okay, I'll get to it now. It's called Otto's Pizza. It was a decent pizza. You said pizza how many times? It, it was just, uh, you know, not circular. It was like triangle, but whatever. Yeah, it was hey. kind of fucked. That's how you know it was handmade. You know, it was good. Mm. I'll, I'll get, I tip the guy really well, too. Nice. Anyway, Bull Moose, I got two things from here. And I have more stuff, actually. We should buy some stuff. I have a Shrek soundtrack DVD that I did not have. <laughs> Yeah, These chips are like too sweet, if that makes sense. Yeah, I don't like them. I, I hear you on that. They are pretty sweet. I got to taste barbecue and vinegar. Because you got the ketchup in there too, right? Mm. And here's the coolest thing they had at Bull Moose. They had blind bags of like used DVDs or CDs. Oh. I have one right here. Oh, okay. <laughs> we're going to do, 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 do an unboxing, a grab bag of CDs. One ninety seven. this was. That's very cheap. Make sure you have And like, that. this is sticky. Like, this is yeah. a good stack of DVDs. 
of CDs here. Oh, it's more than one? Yeah. Oh, wait, it's just a CD. Just a bunch of CDs. Oh, okay. Oh. So I'm hoping... Oh, you know... Can we, I, can we each pull my one? My older brother used to do this where he would buy on Amazon or yeah. eBay or something, like, literally a milk crate full of mystery. CDs. Oh, okay, there's a lot here. Of, like, mystery CDs and then sell them individually. Yeah. Like some they had them. mystery, like, VHS ones, too. Oh, wow. Yeah, so let's take our... Hope we get something cool here. First one is Reggae Christmas. <laughs> nice. Okay. I better be a Playboy in here. Wait, let's um, I'm gonna like. Oh, yeah, let's I'm gonna like pour these all out here. How many you think by the thickness? How many is in there? You think? It's like twenty maybe. Oh sure. So Reggae Christmas. You wanna pull one out? Go right in the middle. Okay. That's where I like it. Tower swag. Tower, Tower swag. swag. What? <laughs> What the fuck is Let me see it. We have Lolbe Musica. Hold up, just want to pull. Just want to point out, it <laughs> says for promotional use only, not for sale. Oh god, uh -oh. Oh, oh, broke the law. I'll do like a random one in the middle as well. We got Luther Vandross. Love is on the way. So nothing I know so far. Okay, <laughs> one thing. <laughs> do you want to pull one out? Right. This is gonna be the money pull. It's gonna be shrink. Pull the builder. Let's see. Big reveal. I don't. It's just a picture. I don't even know. That's Tom Petty. <laughs> oh, it's Tom Petty. Oh, yeah. it's Tom Petty. Oh, okay. okay. It looks like a bootleg disc. Yeah, yeah I know. I was like, wait, <laughs> hold up. We got a bootleg Tom Petty. Next up, Elder God Fate. We have mm. David Gray. Draw the line. Okay. That is. Don't pull themselves. There's still a lot in here. I know. Old, old, boy. old boy records. Oh, 2011 sampler. The hell? Red pajama records. <laughs> this is crazy. Let me speed this up, you guys. Coldplay, every teardrop is a waterfall. There we go. That's a band okay, I know. Okay, We got the Bajan Triangle, local vibe. Weird. Interesting. A lot of local stuff here. I guess so. Mm. We got Nancy Griffith. I don't, know, I don't know what that is. Never heard of her. Nancy Drew. Nancy Drew. Mm. Almost done here. Another Nancy Griffith. <laughs> it's a different album. No, that one's Nancy Reagan. Oh, shit. And we got Beyond Country. Some peak poles right now are looking yeah. like peak. Reggae Christmas and Tower Swag. Well, we're about to get the Rainbow mm. Rainbow GX <laughs> pole right now. I'm hoping. Big House Traveling. Big House Traveling? Okay. Oh, okay. Two more. Two more. I can't even read this. Whatever this is, it's a different language. Okay. Some foreign. And the last one. Ooh, Pro Jam. Okay. Oh, okay. Yeah, okay. Yeah, okay. That was a good final poll. No, no GX this time, guys. Cool hey, news. Music, movies, and video games. Anyway, I would, I would honestly, if you guys want to do it, I would drive up the Gisco store and go back. Let's do it right now. I'm not even kidding. Like, I would do that. I'm down to go. What else did you get there? Or was that with it? I'll get some other stuff. I don't know where it is. Bull moose run. Do you have any toys? Oh, they had some toys. I would, at a dollar ninety-seven, I'd get like ten of these just for the fun of picking them. Oh, yeah. Like, yeah. And they had like a ton of these. That's cool. No, that's cool for a kid. Anyway, that was my trip to Portland. I recommend it. Good place. Cool place. I reviewed Portland. Maine's cool. Our side was fun too. Yep. Yeah. Go into it, man. What do you guys do? Real quick. I mean, I was only there like. Technically like one and a half, but like yeah. days, but like it was cool. Just like what I did, we went to that lake, which was dope. Uh, chilled in the Airbnb a lot. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that was pretty much. What'd you do? I missed like a good amount. Uh, I'll, I'll go through my whole main trip. This is only a four day trip, so you know it, we we can get through it pretty quick. So day one was Friday. It was awful. Stuck in traffic all day. Didn't get to the Airbnb till like five o'clock. Mm. All you I could did have just flown there. I, I at that apparently point, at that Could've. point yeah. Yeah, you gotta be careful. <laughs> yeah, take the airport. <laughs> so all all I did that day was hanging around for a while waiting for Dan because Dan double digit up, double digit Dan yeah. he was coming up that day too and uh, then when he got there we went to Walmart yes bought some provisions yeah good Extensions. Walmart trip we got a box of thirty two hamburgers we only, whoa we only, thirty two we only cooked eight of them and left them in the Airbnb <laughs> <laughs> it's, a, it's a free gift gift to yeah, Charlie yeah, the yeah. Airbnb yeah. owner Charles the Airbnb host he was a little suspect he reiterated twice that the security cameras don't work and i didn't ask about it at all this was after i was already there <laughs> i i asked him some question about whatever and he like reiterated he's like hey the the security system it's old it's out of date don't worry about it but he said it twice so I was, you're just like well, i was a little suspect about that you're just like oh like like, oh, where do you keep the keys to the house? Oh, but the security cameras, they don't work. There were yeah. cameras, yeah. not just like there the was door just, There was a few. We only found on one. Around. I only found one, and it was like on the deck pointing at the front door. Only one I saw. I that. promise they don't work. Yeah. Yeah, like <laughs> mad weird. Yeah. No, no, it, it was a little. I think he was doing some Mr. Leahy type stuff. Yeah. 
get those. <laughs> anyway, went to bed right after that. We didn't really do anything that night. Mm. Or no, no, because no, we were waiting up for you. Yeah, yeah, I yeah shut, we were I watching. Up really late. We were watching a movie or TV. Twilight. Or something. <laughs> nah, no, we weren't watching the Twilight. Toy Story when, I, when I showed up, King of the Hill was on. Ooh. <laughs> That was Nuh-uh. on the TV. And not, or, or, no, no that, was, that was the next day. Though. That was the next day. Yeah, yeah, Tyson right. put that on. Yes, yes, you're right. My fault, my fault, yeah, yeah. my fault. Nah, Dan, I, Dan was slumped out. You could literally, like... Well, live. yeah, you didn't get in until, like, 4 in the morning. Yeah, I didn't get there until very late. It was a late It was a late leave for me. Yeah. But, but um, that was Saturday, right? Yeah, it was technically Saturday morning because it was 4 Oh, oh no, 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 yeah. So you were coming up, supposed to be up Friday night. You were there, like, 4 in the morning. Okay. Yeah. That makes sense. So then Saturday, we had a late start to the day because... You know, these guys got there late, so I think Dan was asleep on the couch, so we were kind of trying to stay up for you, and then, Mm. so we had a late start to the day. We went to the lake, hanging out on the lake, kayaking Mm. around. Your boy Nate brought a raft we were hanging out on. It was a good time. Uh, Some fun in the sun. uh, A friend of his that he brought up, she was rowing on the on the raft and oh, it, a friend a friend a friend a friend a friend yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> there there was a female friend there she yeah, whom yeah. shall not be named mrs kwan no no nah. <laughs> we <laughs> mrs kwan we we did a cuz there was two kayaks and a raft so we were like racing back and then she was rowing and she just straight fell in the water <laughs> but to be fair she was rowing because Nate did not trust Kevin to row i was not a, no no Nate was a shitty leader i was a fine rower i i don't know I saw your form, dude. You had your hands way too close together. You weren't you weren't mm. digging deep. You should have watched Surf's Up before you started rowing. <laughs> yeah, I watched Surf's Up. Long, surf smooth, yeah. slow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right, you know. right, right. So we got back from there. We're whipped chilling. Whipped up some burgers. Yeah, whipped up some Simi Buggers. burgers. Buggers. Um, I like Simi burgers. You should bring that on next podcast, you're on. Simi I've burgers? heard about that. I, I want to be there. Simi burgers are dope. All right, all right. Next time. I'll, I'll bring An my outside grill. Outside episode. Bye. Cookout. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Have a grill. Ooh. Uh, okay. Uh, Elder God cookout. Yeah. We've discussed it before. We were supposed to have a Kanzi. He blew us off. <laughs> Damn. Kanzi. Labor Day? There's just a whole question mark when it comes to Kanzi. So, that was Saturday. Sunday morning. Also a late start. We had, you know, we got a little inebriated the night before. So, uh-huh. the, the late start to the day yeah, Sunday. We're 21. <laughs> yeah, we are all over 21, everybody that was there. 150s. And marijuana is legal in the state of Maine, so, you know, We didn't nothing. use that. Yeah. <laughs> Coke. Coke. No, 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 no. Coke. 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 Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Anyway, so Sunday, another late start to the day. These guys left early. Yeah, we left like 10, 11-ish. Me, Dan, and Mystery Woman went to <laughs> mini golf and go-karts. Raptor Falls, woo! I, I don't Ooh. think it was Raptor Falls. Nah, it was Raptor Falls. All right, it was Raptor For the lore and Elder God of Fate. Lore. There's Raptor been a lot okay. of Elder God of Fate this episode. I yeah. know, yeah. A lot of, the, the Tom Petty a lot of things, things connected. Tom Petty CD, the shirt. Sure. There's a lot. <laughs> so anyway, played mini golf. I think everybody did pretty good. And then the go karts is what I wanted to talk about because those go karts were actually a lot of fun because it, it was the track. There was like a big hill on it, and like Ooh, you had fun. to like go up the hill, and they were you know they they were pretty fast, but they had a computer in them. You could see the computer. So on the when map. you were on the hill, you were the king of the hill. Exactly. Mm. The the hill is the only place you can pass someone because they all go the same speed. If you lean to the inside of the turn and go down the hill, you get a little bit more traction. You can get past. Could you snake? What are you talking about? Like Mario Kart DS? Snake? Like you wiggle? Don't, you don't know, man. Don't know, you man. Know, you don't know, man. I don't, I don't know the tech. Can you do drift boosting? No. Nah. Did like see Crash Team Racing up in there? No, no, no. Not quite, not quite. Uh, I did bring no, some banana no, peels to throw. It was. Yeah. <laughs> it was for the, the podcast. Yeah, that, that, I mean, that was pretty much the whole trip. We were only there. Look at that. Maine's for, awesome, man. Yeah, Maine, it, and just being up there and, like, because the neighborhood we were in was super quiet. Mm-hmm. We just yeah. had, had a lot of space to ourselves. It was a fun time. What else happened in Maine? You come back, do you have a, a beard now? Yeah, yeah I have a beard. Yeah. That's not for Maine, but. I, m- I meant to comment on that originally. I, you always said it would never come back because the lady wasn't a fan. Well, she likes it when it's full and it's a little short, so, so keep, that's it, keep it like that. Right now. Yeah, mm-hmm. but no, uh, yeah, I, I think Maine's, a, Maine's an underrated vacation spot. It's it's my first, it was my first time there and it was cool. Never. I think been Janice has family in Maine. I had a good time. I I was there for a week. It was fun. I was kind of sad going back. I had to go back to my old job. Guess what? I get to quit the job and I'm going back to my old job. Full time. Nice. So, Which job? The superintendent. The other person fired because um she also hated Kung Fu Panda. The new person. Oh wow. She was a uh believe it or not she was a How to Train Your Dragon fan. Oh. So she really had to go. Oh. So, so they, they, they called me up and they're like okay listen we like Kung Fu Panda you like Shrek we'll, we'll go 
get you get the job as long as you at least watch the movies. So it's a little go, compromise. So I have to go watch the movies, but I got the job back. So congratulations, Dad. Congratulations, yep. hey, good man. And I think those snow days. I think we're almost done. Here you got something. I got a couple things. A couple things. Please. Long episode. I'm sorry. Two things. First, Little Andre finally has decided he's going back to school. If anyone wants to help out with uh, school materials, contact us. Also, Kev Kev over there has some Elder God stickers. Take a picture. Mm. Uh, if you want a sticker, contact us. We'll get you a sticker. We have new. How you join the Elder God fleet? Elder God fleet. Put it on your car. Put it on your motorcycle. Put it on your donkey. Great. great Anyhow, however you get around. Yeah. Put it on your refrigerator. Yeah, I am anything. very impressed with the sticker quality. Yeah. I, I, I'm somewhat of a sticker connoisseur myself. It's a very high quality sticker. We're gonna have some. We need more shirts and more stickers. We're gonna have different design with the black outline. Mm -hmm. Nice. Um, probably change it up a little bit. I feel like it's a little off, like the center, but whatever. We're gonna do some more. We'll do more designs. But yeah, that'd be cool. Uh, anything else? Is that it? That's it. All mm -hmm. right. We're going to wrap it up there, guys. Remember to rate the podcast, like, subscribe, check out social media, all our stuff. Um, you guys stream. I don't think you guys stream anymore, but. I uh, haven't in a while. I got to get back. in a very long I'll time. I'll throw it on the link tree, all right? Just in all case. Right. Thank all you, right. Simmy's only fans. Simmy's only yep, fans. My yeah. only fans. With Mrs. Kwan. Yeah. Oh, Mrs. Kwan was there. Back hair porn. I can't believe yes. I to mention that. She was at my vacation. She was following me again. Really? Yeah. I thought I lost her for like the last five months, but she was there. She tried it, but she didn't. I got, I got on the boat and got out, but. You got away with it's it. It's crazy. Anyway, that is Elder God Podcast signing off. Bye. Have, have a good day. I hope uh, yeah, this was your your main source of uh, entertainment tonight. <laughs> I cut it. I cut it. I cut, right, cut it. Right, right, right. Yo, go, 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 go